Meghan gives surprising condition and pass it on to her children with Harry. It's typically genetic. Meghan and Prince Harry welcome their second child and first daughter. Lily but Lily Diana this year on the 4th of June 2021, two years after the birth of their son, Archie Harrison, on the 6th of May 2019. During the Duchess of Sussex's second pregnancy. Photos taken when she visited the National Theatre suggested that she has hypermobile joints. As she cradled a baby bump, Meghan's thumb seemed to bend back unusually far. And experts say this is exactly the kind of thing you'd see on someone who has hypermobility, while it's typically a hereditary condition. Osteopath Anisha Josie explains, people with hypermobility are often able to move their limbs in ways others can't. Much like the photo in which Meghan's thumb appears bent uncomfortably. It means that some or all of a person's joints can have an unusually large range of movement. Hypermobility is a hereditary condition with the main cause of it being genetically determined changes to collagen. A type of protein in the body found in ligaments, to support them. Not enough collagen in the body can make joints loose and stretchy. As for the likelihood of Megan passing the condition on to Lilibet and Duchy, it's not a dead cert. But it comes down to the genetic mutation of collagen the stuff that protects our joints and acts. As a cushioning for them to move smoothly without pain. If Lilibet and Duchy do end up with the same kind of condition. It's not a major concern, rather it just means they all have a bigger range of movement in their joints. So strengthening the surrounding muscles to keep everything stable is a must. Anisha adds, many people with hypermobility don't experience pain. And strength training is great to keep symptoms at bay such as joints popping out or dislocating. Megan hasn't confirmed whether or not she actually has hypermobile joints elsewhere in her body. But it would also explain why she's pretty good at yoga. Past photos from her former lifestyle blog that it showed. That she could master some of the more advanced yoga moves that require a lot of flexibility in their joints, so it would certainly make sense. You guys are leaders in every aspect of your lives. Prince Harry told service members during a virtual event with First Lady Dr. Jill Biden. Prince Harry and U.S. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden reunited for a favorite cause. On Monday, the two paired up for a virtual event honoring wounded service members, who would have taken part in this year's Warrior Games, which was slated to be held this week in Orlando, Florida, but was canceled because of pandemic-related concerns. During a Zoom conference call, Harry who was to have visited the U.S. Department of Defense's contest with Dr. Biden before its cancellation told service members that his Paralympic-style Invictus Games never would have been created had I not been inspired by every single one of you, and you companions and your families, and everything you've given in service to this country. These games are so important, whether it's the Warrior Games or the Invictus Games. It is the ultimate reminder of service both at home and overseas. It is about the physical and the mental fitness of those who have sacrificed so much, he continued. To see every single one of you here with the pride on your faces makes me incredibly happy to know how far you guys have come. The dark places that you've been to, and where you are now, Harry added. Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for showing us the way. You guys are leaders in every aspect of your lives. Both while serving and within your communities as well. This community is as strong as ever and that also makes me incredibly proud. Harry a veteran with two tours to Afghanistan during his decade in the British Army attended the Warrior Games in Colorado in 2013. And a year later put on his first Invictus Games in London. Dr. Biden, meanwhile, has been immersed in supporting the adaptive sporting community through joining forces. The White House initiative to support military and veteran families, caregivers, and survivors. Then Second Lady Dr. Biden attended Harris Invictus Games when it was in Orlando in 2016. And she and former Vice President, now President, Joe Biden joined Harry at the Games in Toronto the following year. During the virtual event, Dr. Biden recalled her first time meeting Harry at the inaugural Invictus Games, and praised the Duke of Sussex for dedicating himself to lifting up service members from around the globe. It's hard to believe it's been seven years since the first Invictus Games in London. The memories of it are still so fresh in my mind. Every race and game more thrilling than the last. She said, before noting that there was one moment that I will never forget.
Dr. Biden then recounted seeing swimmers who had finished a race cheering on another competitor who was still digging deep to get to the finish line. Her teammates lined up along the side of the pool and cheered as loudly as they could. Then, the swimmers from all different countries came over as well, she remembered. With each stroke she took, the crowd shouted and chanted with encouragement until she made it to the end. Her victory and the community that came together around her took my breath away. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.